Okay, so I took it upon myself to redo my room during quarantine. I figured this would be the time to do it. I have a, I had a lot of time to change everything, so I did it in like one weekend. I'm not gonna enter a before picture though because I just don't like how it looked. Um, but I'm gonna do a quick overview of what my room looks like. I have a certain color palette with this room. There's a lot of grays, whites, blacks. I have hints of pink and purple in my room. Also, this is really weird talking to a camera, so please excuse if I mess up at all. But I guess you can start over here. I got this basket from TJ Maxx and I put all my throw blankets in there. I thought of this idea because I don't like my throw blankets all on my bed and plus I don't use all of them all the time. So I needed a cute way to display them and I thought this was the perfect way. Um, over here, I have a rest in peace. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little candle. It's lavender, I believe. I got it off of Etsy for literally like 50 cents. Um, above my door, I have a Wednesday Adams print. I have a lot of art throughout my bedroom. You'll see that. Um, over here, I actually thrifted this dresser from a Goodwill for like $20 maybe. It was a great find. This is my dog's bed. I got it from Marshall's and she really likes it. And it was pretty cheap. Today I am burning a sand and fog candle and the scent is tropical citrus. These are so great. They last forever. You can get them at Marshall's, TJ Maxx. A lot of the things in my room are from Marshall's or TJ Maxx. Um, I have a Nancy print. It's the same print as my Wednesday Adams one up here. And then I have this black cat incense holder. And then I currently have one of these types of incense on it. Um, yeah, these tend to burn a little longer, I feel like. And then I thrifted this Eek um, Halloween light up thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's from Target or something. But I'm so glad that I thrifted it and it worked. I got it from Savers. And this is super exciting. And then I have this neon green spider web tin with a lot of random miscellaneous stuff inside of it, I'm gonna be honest. I have some chapsticks and some lighters. And then I have this really cute Pepe Le Pew jar that I also thrifted from a Goodwill. And I put, again, <laughs> random miscellaneous stuff. I have like these super cute Lisa Frank stickers in here and just a bunch of random stuff. And over here I keep all of my necklaces on. I have a lot of ball, ball and chain necklaces. Maybe I could do like a jewelry um, haul type of collection video. That'd be kind of nice because I have a lot. And then I keep all my rings in this little black jack-o'-lantern. And it's cute because it has like a handle. And because I had a jewelry box, but I was like, I don't really like the idea of a jewelry box. Instead, I put all my rings in here. And then I have my black Starbucks cup. I always have water by my bedside table. And then I have this marble bat um, coaster. I got this from Etsy as well. I can link it. Actually, I'm gonna try and link what I can in the description because I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, I have a lot of artwork too. Um, these two paintings are from an artist called Migdalia. I found her at Afropunk like maybe 2014, I believe. And I also have this Emily Cross stitch up here. She is my favorite thing that I have. And then I have this spiderweb bookshelf, which is also from Etsy. And then this is a Sally piggy bank. And then I have a vanilla P Funko Pop up there. Here's over to my bed. I love my bed against the wall. It gives me so much more space, not to mention it's just way cozier. I have a bunch of throw blankets. I have this gray one, and then I have this black one with bats on it. I have this cute fluffy pillow again this is oh 
Actually, I didn't even mention this artist. Her name is Lolly. She is the person who made this tapestry. I bought it a really long time ago, but if she still sells it, I will link it below. And then I have these fairy lights that I put over it. The fairy lights are from Amazon. It's actually really, really long. And if I wanted to, I can put it like around my bedroom. So maybe one day I'll do that. And then I have a Frankenweenie mini pillow alongside my, I don't even know what these are called. <laughs> um, I call them writer pillows. <laughs> but I put a throw blanket over it because the pillow is white and I didn't want to like make it all dirty. So there's that. Here's my laundry hamper. And then I have this really cute spider web shelf again. Um, this one's smaller than the other one on the other side of my room. I have a Leonardo DiCaprio Funko Pop when he was in Romeo and Juliet. And then another candle. This one is the scent Dragon's Blood. That's like my favorite incense smell. And then I have this really cute little ghost that I thrifted alongside a photo booth picture with me and Michael. It's my favorite um, <laughs> photo strip that I have because it's like a kawaii type of theme. And then I have another painting by um, Lolly. Um, she's the one who made the tapestry. I have another painting on the other side of my room with her as well. And then I have a lunar moth. Sorry, this is getting kind of hard to um, <laughs> record because it's so high up. But it's super cute. It's, um, uh, what is it called? I forgot, <laughs> but it's on my Etsy page, or it's on an Etsy page, and I will link that as well. Uh, yeah, I forgot the word I was trying to say. But anyway, um, then I have this cute little section over here, and I keep my bags that I use on like a daily basis, so I have this Obscura tote bag that I thrifted. I've actually been to the store though, so it's kind of fun that I thrifted that. And then I have my everyday backpack, my Valfrey backpack, my cheetah print backpack. This is where I keep all my um, camera equipment. I have a cute little um, Migdalia painting over there. I often forget about this one because it's like in the corner. And then my really big mirror I got from Amazon. And then over here I have this cube organizer from Walmart. Each of these hold um, things that I use on like a daily basis. I have a speaker over here. I have a bunch of Funko Pops around my room, as you can see. And then I have my insects camera in the back. And this little section is like my favorite section of my room. I have my air diffuser. My favorite scents to put in this are eucalyptus and tea tree. Those are like my two favorites. And then I have a lava lamp over here. I have this cute ghost mug that I got from TJ Maxx. And then she came in a blind box, my little raven figurine. And then this um, print I have is a Valentine's Day card my boyfriend got me for Valentine's, this, Valentine's Day this year. I have a cute little crystal ball. I got this mini frame, but I don't have a picture yet, so let's not look at that. <laughs> and then I bought this from Marshalls. These letters fall off so easily, so I never like to touch it. I know this lights up as well. I just haven't put in batteries for it. And then I have a raccoon skull. I got this from Warp Tour for one year, actually. They had an oddity shop, which was cool. And then I have this cute little, um, I think it's like um, painted on fabric. Um, I found the artist on Etsy. And then this is my little makeup corner. I actually got this vintage from Big Lots, surprisingly. And it's pretty good. It's a little wobbly, but I really like it. And then I, it came with this chair as well. I just draped the rug over it, which is from Walmart as well. And then I have that little white basket from Marshalls to hold all of my candle stuff. And if we get closer, I have a bunch of memorabilia on here. Another picture of me and Michael. And then I have this little, ooh, ooh my eyelash, ooh. ooh, let's, okay, we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> and then I have, again, a bunch of makeup stuff, if it would focus. 
have a bunch of that. I keep some of my eyeliners in this little cauldron cup. And then I have this coffin brush holder. I keep all my like special brushes in here and the cute ones that have these little water effects. And then I have this like lime crime one. They're so cute. And then I put tea lights in this. And then up here, I have a little board that I kept up with um, some adhesive strips. But I just keep like cute pictures here and stickers that I have. I want to add more pictures, I just have to print them. And then I have my lolly painting up here as well. And if you come down, I have this cute little spinny chair. I usually do my work in this chair, like on my desk. And then I have a Hello Kitty stuffed animal and this little heart pillow. And then over here is a little makeup station that I have. I keep all of my lipsticks in here that I have like multiples of. Again, I have another cute candle up here. And then down here I have this spider basket that I got from Target. And then I put bath bombs in it with my little spiders. And here is my marble makeup bag with my cute little spider decor. And then I'll go through my drawers. I have a bunch of makeup in this one. I have miscellaneous stuff in here. I thrifted this really cute Sailor Moon, so it would focus, this Sailor Moon container. And I keep my cotton swabs in there. And then I have this cute little Hello Kitty takeout box. It used to have candy in it. Yeah, I keep my essential oils in here, my chopsticks, things that I use on the daily. And then here are my lotions. And then here are all my bath stuff. And then here are my mists and perfumes. I have this little basket that I got from Amazon, I believe. And yeah, that's basically my room. I hope you guys enjoy watching this because I definitely love decorating it and I love watching these types of videos on YouTube so I figured I would upload one of my own give people some ideas when it comes to decor but yeah thank you for watching